Hello Gemini, welcome to your you and them love reading. We're gonna be looking at what's going on in your connection uh, with the person that you're currently thinking about or connecting with uh, and how do you feel about each other? What are the energies between you and this person? As always, these readings are meant to be general. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you and your situation. You can also check out your moon, your rising sign, as sometimes those can resonate more. Uh, any other sign in your birth chart that's significant um, could possibly work here. Um, all of the playlists for each sign are linked in the description box, um, along with a link to the extended for this set of videos. The extended is gonna be basically looking at where your connection is headed and insight on any challenges or blocks, as well as advice for that. So let's jump right in for Gemini. What do we need to know regarding love for Gemini? With the person that they are thinking about or connecting with, spirit at this time, what do we need to know about this connection? What do we need to know? You can flip the energies for this reading, Gemini. Energy is fluid, so take it as it resonates. Okay, what else do we need to know for Gemini? What do we need to know, spirits, angels, guys? What do we need to know for Gemini? What's going on in the connection between Gemini and this person? What's going on in this connection? What's going on in the connection between Gemini and this person okay well nothing's happening I could tell you that much <laughs> uh, tell me about Gemini's energies I'm just gonna put down your gem your energies and their energies um, and then we'll kind of jump in tell me about Gemini's energies in this connection Gemini's energies Gemini's energies in this connection and I guess I shouldn't say that nothing's happening um, it's not like something isn't happening because someone doesn't want it to happen. I think this is someone that's prevented or delayed or, or blocked in some way. And it makes sense because here you are, Gemini, two of wands in the world. I feel I see you kind of waiting for this. Tell me about the person, Gemini, or at least making a, a decision on a, a different path that you might be taking here. Um, waiting to decide on what path you want to choose. Tell me about the person Gemini is dealing with. What do we need to know about them? Okay. The star and the nine of swords. Okay. Aquarius energy with the star and the nine of swords. Okay. That was my dog in the background. Bottom of the deck, we have the moon, Pisces energy. So this person I feel is stressed, anxious, worried, um, but yet still hopeful. And I feel like you're kind of on the same boat here. But in terms of what's going on in the connection, oh my gosh, why are you so annoying, Henry? In terms of what, sorry, it's just that I can hear him so loudly. He likes to shake, 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 and his harness just, it's like a freaking maraca back there. Okay, so, okay, Ace of Wands reverse, King of Pentacles reverse. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It does not have to be, but I have a thing at least for my in my channel there's a, so many Gemini's that are dealing with an earth sign <laughs> uh, six of Pentacles reverses tell me that something's just not quite right um, someone either isn't able to give to this or there's an imbalance so let's let's clarify for Gemini get some insight please what's going on here for Gemini what's going on here for Gemini for Gemini. Tell me about this Six of Pentacles reverse. Why is the Six of Pentacles reverse? Why is the Six of Pentacles reverse? King of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Some of you are definitely dealing with an Earth sign. But see, I feel like this is someone that wants to be a King of Pentacles, but just can't be. Maybe they need to be um, independent, nine of pentacles. Maybe they need to be free of something. Can I get one more for this uh, six of pentacles reverse? Knight of cups, yeah. Strength at the bottom of the deck, Leo energy. I feel like this person wants 
to express their feelings to you or apologize to you or wants to give you something with this Knight of Cups. Um, this could be somebody that you have been talking to, but it just has not cemented itself. Like it's not a full commitment yet. This could be somebody that is long distance from you. This could be somebody that is, you know, consumed with work or responsibilities or obligations. And for some reason, they can't bring you this Knight of Cups or, you know, something like that. Because I feel like this is someone that wants to give, but can't. Now, I don't know what this High Priestess is about. Let's see if I can get some clarity. Tell me about the High Priestess. Typically, um, this is a symbol or represents like secrets, mystery, uh, what's behind the veil, intuition, psychic abilities. Tell me about the High Priestess. Why is the High Priestess here? Why is the High Priestess here? <laughs> Knight of Pentacles. So, um, Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Maybe this person has is making secret plans. Secret plans is what I heard. Eight of Cups and Justice. So I feel like this is somebody that might be walking in again. I feel like Gemini's, you keep having this energy of someone needing to walk away from something, um, leave something behind. I feel like this person, there's a reason why they're not with you right now. This could also be that there was a disconnect between a happy couple. Um, maybe one of you walked away like after an argument or something like that and it's almost like um, there's a rift, right? Like, like it's just not the same between you at this time. But someone wants it to be better than it is. Tell me about the Ace of Wands reverse. Why is the Ace of Wands reverse? Why is the Ace of Wands reverse? Six of Wands. Yeah, I feel like someone wants, yeah, there's the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So I definitely feel like someone wants this to happen. Um, victory, success. Tell me about this King of Pentacles reverse. Why is the King of Pentacles reverse? Why is the King of Pentacles reverse? Ten of Wands. Yeah, I'm telling you, this is someone, wow, there's a tower at the bottom of the deck with the Ten of Wands. I feel like this is somebody that is burdened, has obligations, has responsibilities, has a lot going on in their life, is overwhelmed with what's going on in their life, and it's probably a tower that's happening in their life. And look at that, the Wheel of Fortune right after the towel, the tower, towel, right after the tower, wouldn't you know? The tower and the Wheel of Fortune, like this, this should be on every Gemini's headstone right here these two cards just chiseled <laughs> I'm just kidding but honestly <laughs> I feel like these are the energies that are plaguing Gemini's right now the ones that are um, stuck in this like rut when it comes to love uh, the wheel of fortune tells me things are changing things are happening there's momentum here opportunity and possibly it's tied to a tower a tower moment that perhaps this person is experiencing this could also be you Gemini having a tower moment in your life and not being able to give to a connection that you want to give to. Can I get some more insight into this King of Pentacles reverse? Can you tell me more about this King of Pentacles? Why is the King of Pentacles reverse? King of Cups, yeah. I feel like this is someone that if, if it could be different, they would want it to be different. Um, despite their difficulties, despite their like obligations or burdens or whatever they're they're carrying, I feel like the love is still there. What else is going on in this connection? What do we need to know about this connection between Gemini and this other person? What do we need to know? The thinking man, someone that's thinking planning strategizing hmm this person has something in mind because he's looking at this like crystal or flower i almost picture them looking at a picture of you or having like a goal like a vision that they're like they're envisioning their future or envisioning what they want bottom of the deck door to value maybe this person's held back because of money because of finances let me see what else i can get here what else do we need to know about this connection between Gemini 
and this other person. What do we need to know? What do we need to know for Gemini? What's going on in this connection? Unexpected event. So definitely a tower moment is happening that a tower is, I feel, coming or someone is dealing with a tower and it's interfering in this connection. There's bird and heart, bottom of the deck, looking inward. Yeah, this is definitely someone that's thinking, listening to their intuition, planning. This is like the hermit. Okay, can I get one more? One more for what's going on in this connection. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I lost it. Hang on. <laughs> what is this? Standing firm, courage, resistance, defense. So someone being brave. Um, standing firm against any challenge. So I feel like this ten of swords, not ten of swords, what am I saying? This tower, if I could just get my life together. <laughs> this tower, this ten of wands, excuse me. Um, I feel like it was very difficult for someone. Uh, really set someone back is kind of what I'm getting here. So let's jump down to your energy. So I have you on the left, Gemini, and your person on the right. Feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Tell me about this uh, Two of Wands. If you hear that in the background, they're doing lawn care uh, services on my property. So someone's like blowing leaves. Okay. Tell me about the two of wands for Gemini. Okay. I want this one and this one. Oh my God. The tower again <laughs> and the three of pentacles. Interesting. So Gemini, what this tells me is that you can either sense this tower or this tower is, uh, happening, coming, um, affecting this connection. But I feel like it's it's helping you build three of pentacles. You're kind of thinking about what to do here. Seven of cups, the justice card, and then the wheel of fortune again. Libra energy with justice. But I feel like this is you like being able to work on things, collaborate because of a tower. Maybe this is opening a door because I have the two of wands here. Can I get one more for the two of wands? Why is the two of wands here? King of Wands. Yeah, this is definitely helping someone take action or someone is taking action with, you know, regarding this tower after this tower. So tell me about the world. Why is the world here? Why is the world here for Gemini? Oh my God, the world. What are the odds? The world clarified by the world. Okay, can I, can I get one more, please? For Gemini. Can I get one more? Strength, Leo energy. Okay, what else? What else for Gemini? Eight of Cups. Wow. The sun at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like, okay, there's definitely a departure here. Something is definitely happening. Um, I don't know. I feel like I'm talking to a Gemini that they're kind of aware of this departure for some reason. Either you're walking away from something or someone's walking away from something and you know about it. This is someone walking away or, or leaving something behind for a new beginning. These two cards, there's the only one way to interpret this, okay? Eight of Cups in the world. And this took a lot of strength, courage with the Strength card. The sun is at the bottom of the deck, so, you know, there's might maybe some clarity, happy, joyful celebration, happy news. Someone's very excited. But I don't know, for some reason, I'm just picking up that you know this or you're expecting this. Because this two of wands is with this world. And I almost feel like this person is holding, the, the two of wands is holding the world in their hands. It's almost like you, you know, you know, like Raven, the that's the that's so Raven show. I'm literally picturing you holding this world and like you have like you can see into the future. And I don't know why I'm getting that, but I am. It's almost like you're expecting this. You're expecting this new beginning. You're expecting this departure, this tower. Like you can sense it. Tell me about this. Okay, let's look at your person. 
Tell me about this Nine of Swords. What's this Nine of Swords about? I feel like your person's the one really struggling here. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. Okay, I got two. The Hangman and the Eight of Swords. So they're worried, stressed about being stuck. Um, overthinking. Um, this person could be having um, issues with their mental health. I'm picturing, okay, this person could be having headaches or tension, you know, in their head, sinuses. Um, I'm picturing somebody that is just, um, their mental health is affecting their physical health. The wheel is at the bottom of the deck again. Can I get one more about this Nine of Swords? Can I get one more? Queen of Swords. Page of Cups. Hmm. Well, the Queen of Swords is very mentally strong. She's mentally very astute. Or, you know, just someone that can read between the lines. You know, she... She has strong boundaries. Okay, so for some of you, this person's talking to somebody that's very intelligent, possibly a psychiatrist, getting help, okay? I just get that strongly. This could also be like a doctor. Others of you, this is the problem, that they have to be honest about something with themselves and they possibly have realized a truth or know the truth about something and it's led them to this state. Oh my gosh. You're gonna be hearing like this huge blower and it has to be in the middle of my Gemini reading. <sighs> okay. Tell me about the star. Yeah, I see the star and I feel, oh damn it. I feel like uh, self-care, uh, healing over whatever this is happening for them. So this is somebody that perhaps if they are talking to a counselor or seeing a doctor, their health is improving, their mental health is improving, and they're seeing kind of a way out of their situation. Tell me about this star. What do we need to know about this star? Temperance, exactly. This is somebody that's coming back into balance. Two cups here as well. Being more emotionally balanced. Sagittarius energy. What's this? Page of Cups. Yeah, this is definitely somebody that I feel is 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 regaining hope, regaining faith. Maybe they thought all hope was lost. I feel like this person could also be wanting to heal things with you, Gemini. But for some reason, I'm picking up them. For most of you, this is somebody that's having difficulties in their own life. And they're improving their circumstances. And for some reason, that is having something to do with you here. Because it's helping them make something happen with the magician. Okay, so let's get some insight into your energies. Get some insight for Gemini and this person. Tell me about Gemini's energies in this connection. Tell me about Gemini's energies in this connection. The Lamb. See, you, you're getting messages, Gemini. In some way, you're getting messages. Either messages from spirit. Maybe you've been meditating. Maybe you've been having, you've been having vivid dreams. Um, maybe they've had conversations with people and you're just getting insight in some way. I feel like you can, ex you're expecting a message. And so you're very open to receiving, you know, like you're being very receptive right now. Tell me about this other person. What do we need to know about this other person? Oh, okay. We have the buffalo and the lizard. Okay. So the buffalo is kind of like... Actually, he's kind of like my Knight of Pentacles in this deck. Very steady, grounded energy. They know that there are challenges ahead. They can see down this road or path that there are obstacles, but they're just going to go steadily on. The Lizard is kind of like the Hermit. Introverted energy, someone that has to retreat, um, has almost like a sixth sense or an ability, you know, very perceptive, very um, almost like the Lamb. So I feel like their intuition or their inner voice is probably guiding them here to be very strong, 
to um, prepare for what's coming. What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know? Oops. For Gemini. What else do we need to know? Spirit. For Gemini. What else do we need to know? Courtship. That's like the beginning of a connection. Starting again in a connection. Yeah, pathway. This person can literally see the path in front of them. It's a long road. Pathway means that there's still a long way to go. But this person is just going to go steadily along. And they're strong enough to face whatever comes. That's the buffalo energy. I also feel like this Ten of Wands, this pathway kind of go together because the Ten of Wands are wands you collect over time. Um, and, you know, the farther you go, the heavier it feels. Until you're finally at your final destination and you can let go of the burden. What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know for Gemini? I still check up on you. So Gemini, are you keeping tabs on this person? Do you Are you aware of the moves that this person's making in their life? I'm taking action. Yeah, they're going to be doing something about... I, I mean, this is for a Gemini whose person, I feel, is going through a tower moment that is forcing them to take action. They don't have a choice, this person. They All they can do is think about how to make it happen, not the fact that they have to make it happen, if that makes sense. Expect a message. Okay, let me get one more. Do I want a hidden truth? Sure, why not? What else do we need to know? And I still check up on you. Also lets me know, Gemini, that for some reason, this you you are aware of what this person might be doing right now or kind of aware of what's going on in this person's life so you might find out that this person's having a tower moment in some way maybe through social media i want you okay you're very interested in this person and i think that's why you're still checking up on them I'm understanding, I'm starting to understand our connection. And bottom of the deck, I want to tell you how I feel. Yeah, this person definitely, I mean, it's not that they can't. Uh, no, I'm sorry. It's not that they don't want to, it's that they can't. Or, um, they can't tell you how they feel right now. But they want to. Expect a message is here. Um, let me get Romance Angel for the overall. What else do we need to know about this connection between Gemini and this person? What else do we need to know about this connection between Gemini and this person? Past life relationship. You have known each other before. Express your love at the bottom of the deck. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. I mean, Gemini, I swear, the Wheel of Fortune, past life, exes, it's just a running theme with Gemini's. Um, I think you've known this person before. You've had a connection with this person before. And it's not over. It's not over, Gemini. That's basically the theme of this reading. Um, it's not that it's not going to happen. It's that there is a tower in the way. There is obstacles in the way for this particular person. And I think this obstacle was necessary. They needed to go through this to understand your connection, to take action. And we're going to see the extent of what that action is going to be. I think it's them walking away. I think it's them improving their mental health. I think it's them um, making changes in their life that they have to make. Because make no mistake, this is not somebody that, you know, possibly even wanted to make this change. But spirit is forcing them you know, with this tower. Otherwise, I'll leave it here. Gemini, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoyed the reading and want to see more readings from me. And I will see you all in another reading very soon. Take care.